In the next few minutes, you'll discover how to properly upload your videos here on YouTube to get more views. It's coming up. Brian G. Johnson. Hey, it's Brian G. And to grow on YouTube, stake your claim and amplify your message. Do that by subscribing. And to really jumpstart your channel, check out my free YouTube masterclass. Link is in the description. So check this out. The new upload process has so many steps that you can go through. In fact, as many as 57 steps in the process and every step is a decision that you have to make. And those decisions will determine just how many views your video gets or not. But here's the good news. On my iPad, I've got the very steps I'm gonna walk you through to ensure you crush it. Let's do this. So first from YouTube Studio, you'll wanna click on this icon, Create. And then from here, select Upload Video. Pretty basic, but stick with me, you're gonna get more views. Now after you click the Create and Upload button, you'll be taken to this page here where it says Upload Videos. You can either upload one or multiple videos on this screen. So let's talk a little bit about bad information. Some of which is that the file name of the actual video can help you drive more views, especially if it's based on a keyword phrase. This is not true. However, when you do upload the video, the file name will become the video title. And this is one you're gonna wanna change. And here's why. If you want easy views, then what you wanna do is really think about a keyword phrase people would search for when trying to uncover or find a video like the one you're uploading. Now this particular video is based on uploading or how to upload a video to YouTube. So I did some keyword research and notice all the different phrases. This part is important because we're gonna optimize our video around these phrases. So here, what I'm gonna do with the video title, and this is super important, it's incredibly powerful. The title of your video will determine how many views you get on YouTube or not. So I'm gonna title my video, how to properly upload videos to YouTube 2020 dash new settings. And I'm gonna add that phrase new settings based on this keyword phrase. Now, when it comes to the description, do this. Begin the video description with the keyword phrase you wanna target, and you wanna write three, four, five, ten 10 sentences that include some of the variations of the keywords we saw in the previous step. This is really helpful in making it easy for people to find your video based on what they're searching for. Now, the next thing we wanna talk about is YouTube playlists. It makes sense to organize your channel based on playlists, especially if you cover one specific topic a number of times. For example, back when I started my channel, I covered iMovie and I created a playlist based on iMovie. So I'm gonna click on select, and then I'll select the playlist I wanna add to my YouTube video. Now this next tip will help you not only get more views, but more subscribers. You wanna create a special type of YouTube playlist, a best of, and the only videos you're gonna add to that particular playlist are obviously videos that have performed well. That is a lot of views and people are subscribing to the video in question. I've got another video that explains how to customize your channel and make this happen. I'll link you to that video at the end of this video. Okay, next up, we need to talk about your YouTube thumbnail. Before you craft and create your video, I highly recommend A, you understand and you know the title of the video, and B, you create a compelling video thumbnail that will get more clicks. This is how exactly you do that. You wanna think about the video you're gonna publish, and you're gonna wanna think about what is it that viewers really want around this particular subject. So if you're uploading a gaming video or a beauty video or a gardening video, ask yourself, what do viewers really want? Like if it's gardening, it's tasty, delicious tomatoes. So you're gonna create a thumbnail that really covers that specific thing. So here, my thumbnail mentions more views. Anybody that's gonna upload a video to YouTube probably would like to get more views to their videos, and this is a powerful way to create a simple and easy to understand thumbnail that'll get more clicks. Then select Upload Thumbnail, select the thumbnail you created, and when you do this, you're gonna plan for success 
That'll help you get more clicks and more views. Now, as you continue on this section, the next thing we need to talk about is the audience that you're targeting. And this falls into two categories, made for kids or not made for kids. Select what's appropriate and then move on and you're gonna wanna click more options. Now, once again, this section is gonna help us get more views and really understand how our video is performing. First, under paid promotion, select if your video contains paid promotion or not. Then we need to talk about the YouTube tags. Now tags is a little confusing for a lot of people. You do definitely want to add tags. You want to do it in a specific manner and it can help you get some views, but most YouTubers really don't understand that they're not that powerful. But YouTube tags can help you identify how your video is performing when you use the TubeBuddy plugin. More on that in a bit. So the first thing I do is really begin to think about those keyword phrases I saw earlier. Then I'm gonna type those into the search bar and I'm gonna wait for the TubeBuddy plugin to populate additional keyword phrases that I'll add as tags. Simply click the green plus and you'll add the search term as a YouTube tag. Now this part is important. If you see a keyword phrase that isn't really about the video you're uploading, do not add it. You only want to draw viewers to your video that you believe are really going to be satisfied by the video you're uploading and publishing. Couple more things about YouTube tags. Notice this here, 404 characters used out of a total of 500. You want to use as many keyword phrases as possible. Again, they're not going to really help you rank, but they can help you identify if your video is ranking in YouTube search. Now I mentioned the TubeBuddy plugin. Check out the link in the description so you can do what I'm gonna show you now. Once you've installed the plugin, you can then look at the search rankings for the tags. So here, I've expanded the Videolytics section. I'm gonna click on Show Ranking, and now you can see the rankings of these particular keyword phrases. YouTube tags to get views, number two, YouTube tags 2020, number two, and so on. Couple more things can be optimized, let me show you. First, notice this section here, recording date and location. This is super helpful if you're somewhere that a lot of people are interested in, especially if they're searching on YouTube for that location. In that case, make sure to add that to your video title and put it in here to help the algorithm understand you're at that location. You wanna definitely allow embedding. That will allow other websites to embed your video, exposing your video to a bigger audience, more watch time, views, etc. Now this is important as well, the category. Right here, the category. A lot of people wanna know what category should I add my video to? You know what, it really doesn't matter in 2020. YouTube is gonna understand the audience based on actual viewers that land on your video, watch your video, and then what kind of actions they take. So select the category that makes the most sense and move on. Next up, comments and rating. I like the default settings we have. Hold potentially inappropriate comments and sort comments by top. Hey, here's some good news, monetization. You can make great money on YouTube. It's not easy, but it's very possible. So really think long game. I'm gonna do this over the long haul and you can do great. So once your channel is monetized, you'll select monetization options, you'll select on, and then in order to make more money, if your video is over 10 minutes, make sure you select this box after video post roll. In other words, if your video is over 10 minutes, click that box, YouTube will show an ad to viewers after the video and you will dramatically increase your earnings. However, never inflate your video. In other words, lengthen the video to hit 10 minutes. And then lastly, you're gonna have to go through these options here. If you've got anything such as drug-related content, you're gonna wanna select that option or hateful content or firearms-related content and you're gonna to wanna to designate that in your video. If you don't have any of those things, that's fantastic, and I would recommend you don't. You'll wanna select none of the above if that's the case. Hey, here's another easy way to get more views. 
You want to know who is the audience I'm trying to reach. And more important, where do most of them live? For a lot of you, that means North America, the United States, Canada, etc. If you're targeting the United States and Canada, I recommend you upload and schedule your videos to be released early in the morning. Why? Because YouTube is going to be more likely to push out a brand new video that's say three or four or five hours old. If you upload it at eight o'clock at night in the United States, five hours later is like, what is that? One in the morning, midnight? A lot of people are no longer browsing YouTube. If you upload at 6 a.m., five hours later, is it's not even noon yet. So schedule your post select a time early in the morning, just like I've done here, I often upload my videos at 4 a.m. That means on the East Coast, it's actually 6 a.m. Scheduling in this manner can help you drive more views. And finally, you'll be taken to this screen here. However, we have one last step to get more views to your YouTube video. You're gonna wanna click on the video title, then select details, and then select the end screen option. Doing so, and you'll be taken to this page here. Select this template for an end screen. And the best thing to do is add two videos to your end screen, one being best for viewer. This is powerful because YouTube will select the video it believes makes the most sense for that particular viewer watching your videos. And then finally, you're gonna wanna do this. Check out one of these videos on the screen right now. Do that and it'll help you drive more views and even better, you're gonna feed a poodle. Now here's what's up. I've got two poodles and they're hungry. You dig?